Now, I really need to psych myself up right now for legs because I am absolutely knackered. I don't know if you guys would have seen in the last video, but I didn't go to sleep till about 3 a.m. because of the R6 majors. Now, it is indeed like a massive tournament and it's hosted in Canada. So the time zone is absolutely, it's horrible for us. However, we got to do one thing. Let's go weigh ourselves. Moment of truth. What am I looking like right now? Bearing in mind, I have indeed woken up really late and it's like 11, so... That might also be why a little bit less weight is in the system right now. Now, I'm going to go have some food. I'm going to have my pre-workout snack. And then I'm going to be going and doing a leg session. And we should be back to normal weight again tomorrow. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the gym. Today is indeed the last day that I'm going to be doing an overlay audio. I don't really necessarily like doing this. However, because of the situations I've had with my mic, it's just what I've had to do. However, we have indeed started off with some heavy barbell squats. Now, I genuinely haven't squatted in, I would like to say, maybe a month or even two months. So, I decided to top set of 100 and I didn't want to go too past that because I know before I've done 140. But however, I did notice a little bit of hindrance in my knee. Obviously, like you guys know, I've had surgery on my knee. So we did six reps of 100 kg and it felt good. I did indeed decide to put my belt on. However, as you guys have just seen, my belt popped off. I have indeed lost that much weight since I've lost that since I've worn my belt. So it actually just completely popped off. And then you'll notice as well, I think it was on this rep. Yes, I, I hit the safety barriers. I know. That set was probably one of the worst sets of squats I've ever done. However, it's fine. I rested for two to three minutes. I took the belt off and I reset it and I just went back and did another set of 100 kg again. So we did technically two top sets, but in a way we kind of did two and a half top sets of 100 till failure. So we'll definitely take that. It was some good, good squat squatting today. And you know what? I actually didn't feel bad in my back at all. I definitely felt like I worked on strengthening my back. I don't like squatting or do I don't like doing a lot of movements with a belt around me because I feel like I like to strengthen up my back and my core a lot more. However, we started off here. We did a first warm-up set of barbell RDLs. We did 60 kg. This felt extremely good. Just really focusing on keeping the weight light, but getting a really nice stretch and control motion here. Here was our first top set. I did indeed use wrist straps. I did 80 kg. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's a 20 kg plate and a 10 kg plate on each side. So yes, I did this to complete failure and holy were my hamstrings absolutely firing after. But yes, like I was saying about the wrist straps, I absolutely love using straps, especially for um, exercises like this, where it's either a leg day or even like a back day. I absolutely love it. It just takes all concentration out of the grip and I can just really focus on the muscle that I'm targeting here, which is indeed the hamstrings. Here, I'm just really focusing on pushing my hips back slightly whilst being able to fully stretch out the hamstrings. We did indeed now go for a second top set of 80 kilograms. I did another set to failure. As you guys can tell, it is indeed quite painful. Sometimes I would usually go up to about 100 kg, but to be honest, this session, I didn't want to go up to 100 kg. I wasn't feeling like I was able to go up to 100 kg, so I, I stayed smart. And I'd stuck it to the 80 kg. And honestly, this just felt amazing. So I'm actually really happy I didn't go any higher than this. But yes, like I said, you can see that I'm going to complete failure right now. My face is really showing it. And we finally pushed through that last rep. However, unfortunately, this is indeed our last exercise. I only did three exercises. I know you guys probably thinking that's a really short leg day. It was indeed. Uh, I would have explained it on the video. However, I didn't realize my mic wasn't working. Our last last exercise is indeed just seated calf raises working on the bottom half of the movement. However, the reason why I had to head off is genuinely because I had some I found out some situation that happened during well in between set one and set two of my calf raises and I really needed to head home to sort it out. So I do apologize for the shorter video and the less exercises today. It's not usual for me to just cut a workout short. I know the last time I cut a workout short was because it was on a shoulders and arms day. And I think I was watching the Bournemouth game that day. And this one now I've had a situation, but honestly the next leg day and everything should be fine. It should be all more mic'd up and everything like how it genuinely should be. But yes, we did indeed do two top sets to failure on the calf raise. I, all I do is just whack a 20 kg plate on each side. So it's about 40 kg loaded on. I'm not sure what the original weight is on the machine, but I genuinely just do it to failure. And for me, that's good. I'm hoping over time I'll be able to add maybe an extra 5 kg on each side or maybe even an extra 10 kg on each side. 
just to get that extra little bit of tension out of it. However, yes, I did take the second set to absolutely complete failure. You know what I love about the calf raises? It's genuinely how much it feels like your calves are about to fully cramp up. I don't know why I might be strange, but I, for some reason, love that feeling. I don't know if you guys love it too. I don't even know if you guys like leg days, but for me, leg days is like... I have seen that as massive testosterone boosts. Maybe that's why I like it so much, because I genuinely just... I just feel like I'm him, bro. I honestly feel like I'm him when I'm working out. But... We are indeed done there. Thank you for tuning in. All right, we are here. We have indeed finished our leg day. Now, I am indeed absolutely knackered because, like I said earlier, I did indeed finish. Well, I did indeed finish my stream last night at about 3 a.m. So I am still absolutely knackered. It's, it's about 10 p.m. right now. I'm going to get a nice early night and try and wake up a little bit earlier tomorrow for chest and back. So we've got a chest and back video tomorrow coming. I will see you then.